Dude, what, what did you want to talk about? What about the eggs over there? This is kind of bizarre. Like, <clears throat> vegan potato, yeah. Of course it's vegan. So, people really have... <laughs> I mean, really, people have like no excuse. Like when people say I'm too busy to diet and eat right, you have no excuse. You have all these food service companies. Like I use this chicken. I come over here and I get this chicken. It's already cooked. There's literally like food is prepared. Like you have no reason to not eat the way you want to eat unless it's what financial. We what if we get sardines? Where there's a will, there's a way. You know, we got prepared food. Well, look, wait. Build a meal. One oh, entry yeah. and two sides for $25. So if you're four people, it's a hundred bucks. The hundred bucks, you can have a whole grocery of food for a week. Yeah. So you have no excuse if you have a lot of money. But if you're poor, you have no excuse because you just get a hundred bucks of food and have your whole week. If you're prepared. poor, you probably shouldn't be in bodybuilding anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to eat, like, like when I was in college, I ate cans of tuna and lettuce. Raw foods. Cocoa crunch, sprouted granola. So that's interesting. Like Ezekiel bread is sprouted grain. This is sprouted granola. So so if you put it back into the ground, it's gonna grow again. <laughs> crunchy kale. That's what are you eating, Antoine? No. Kale. You okay. can't walk around with, the, with Antoine in the store without him chewing on something that you wonder what he found. <laughs> I eat a lot of sunflower seed butter. I don't think there's anything <laughs> special with it. I mean, I don't really eat them. Um, there's no sodium and there's and there is some potassium, so hey, you could put them at the end of a prep. Let me ask you get this. your potassium up a little. Let's say if you eat this, or if you eat this, or if you eat this. Okay, if you eat an ounce of like for like six weeks, you eat an ounce of this with every meal. For six weeks, an ounce of this, and for six weeks, an ounce of this. Is this going to be much of a difference in your body? Were there, they Not enough? much of a difference, but what you'll see is you omega-3, omega-6 ratios are different. Some will have more sat monounsaturated fat, some will have so less. The effects are going to be more on health than fat loss? Or, yeah. So yeah. for the gains and shit like that, you don't care really much? No, I mean, fat. I think it's good to rotate them because you can, you know, like with almonds, you get a little bit more monounsaturated fat. Pitted prunes, then... You'd kind of be like me with no colon. <laughs> yeah, just go through it. You'll spend a lot of time in a bathroom. Yeah. I did my first ever men's open show. Yeah. And this is what I carboated on. Dates. 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 And you like, look at the potassium in these. 260 milligrams of potassium, zero sodium. How many did you eat? I ate like a whole bag. And these things are calorically dense. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean. 25 grams of sugar. There's 660 calories. Yeah, in we ate, what we would do is eat a bag before we went to bed, and then we would eat a bag oh, really? the morning of prejudging. And it um, I, I won the show. Yeah. Won the show. Dave dates. Least favorite? Um, yeah, of the nuts and the and the dried fruits. Which one are you like? Nah. I would I say I, I would say cashews because I because I can't stop eating them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the other <laughs> stuff. This, I, don't do open this. Oh. oh, put that back. <laughs> <laughs> what about bone broth? Bone broth is, that is like. No, bone broth is like making a huge, like, I don't want to say comeback, but like I used to be involved with the Weston Price Foundation and they were big on different broths and, yeah. you know, fermented foods and all that. But now like everyone's having bone broth protein. It's like bone the rage broth? now. Bone broth? Bone broth. Oh. Is there anything good about it other than just the fact that it's making a comeback? Well, I mean, these are higher protein. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, there's probably 10 grams of protein in a serving of that. Um, yeah, uh, 10. Yeah. 10. 10. It's, it's, it's 10. Yeah. Good guess. So you do keto diets? This was one of the foods we use. Pork rinds. Really? Just fat and protein. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I don't pork see anybody. Do you soup with that or you just drink it? You do whatever, man. You do whatever. This is my favorite section of the grocery Ice store. Cream. So. Hey, they got cashew. Cashew milk. So. Um, Okay, right down here, sorbet. So my friend Scott Stevenson kind of made sorbet super popular. Um, sorbet is phenomenal. So if you get true sorbet, this is mango. I mean, it's no fat, it's just carbs. And it's like the puree. But the nice thing is, is you get you know, like 110, 120 grams of carbs, and it's so easy to digest. So, like for instance, my last show I just did, I had one of these every night the last five nights before I went to bed. 
I had a full container of sorbet, mm. full pint. And I have some other people doing it, but I want to give Scott credit. Scott Stevenson's the one that really, really, like this was what he really said was a great food to carve on, and he was absolutely right. Tastes, tastes awesome too. So sorbet, just like, uh, it's great post-workout too. Sucks right up, so. Sorbet rocks. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff's really popular too, this Halo ice cream. Um, every, it's like the rage around here too, but uh, you know. I don't see Arctic Zero here. Arctic Zero's trash. Oh yeah, there it is. It's so bad. I'm okay with it. That's you can eat true. cardboard and be okay. You eat sardines and sardines and bread. Can we just skip to the sardines? <laughs> what I like about this one is that um, it's not a gluten recipe. It's the brown rice and turkey recipe, which is gluten free. So um, if you're a dog and you're gluten intolerant, well, it's perfect. <laughs> and if you look at the ingredients right here, you know what dog food tastes like, do you? Turkey, water sufficient for processing. Pea flour, chicken liver, chicken heart, and brown rice, and agar agar. Agar agar, agar, agar. is uh, the key ingredient in this, which makes it a very nice like blend of uh, different body parts from different kind of birds and things like that. But agar agar, I don't know what the fuck that is, but. I love sparkling water, and um, also love Pellegrino. When you're dieting, like, it's good to have stuff that makes you feel full. And like these mineral waters and sparkling waters, sometimes they help you feel full because um, they're carbonated. Do you do artificial sugars? You put the, the lemon in it? Like yeah, to a degree. I mean, I don't I don't do well with um, aspartame, but I do great with Splenda Superlux. Yeah. So a little bit of that. Stevia. What about that? Natural I like it's good, but I just don't like the taste of it. It tastes like acid to me. Like I don't like the taste of it. The aftertaste. Now is Truvia odd, yeah. tastes awesome. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they did with it to modify it, but truly it tastes really good. It was really good here too. LaCroix. Oh yeah, we all know about that. I mean, if you're really that into water, you probably want something in a glass bottle. You don't want to make them plastic. So, this yeah. From Norway. I, I mean, from what I've always read, Fiji was one of the best and um, I like the taste of Fiji too. It's like got a totally different taste than any, any other water. It tastes slicker because all the silica. Yeah, silica. Yeah, it has a different. Um, mm. So, like, I like Fiji. It's super expensive, but I like it. Like this You're fluoride. Why are you fluoride? so scared of it? Uh, some um, people think fluoride's the devil. Yeah. I Is don't it? know, man. I mean, if you got like crazy high fluoride levels, then yeah, it's probably not good for your body. Would you eat them in bar form? Uh, is a carbohydrate? Probably, yeah, because they're like, remember we were talking about the dates over there? Yeah. It's very, very similar. Yeah. You've heard of that? Lobster corn chowder? Yeah. I don't know, I've heard of crab chowder. Fats here. Coconut oil, of course, everybody knows I like coconut oil. You want to make sure it's unrefined, not refined. Huh? I never even noticed that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. The virgin one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is unrefined virgin? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. We get extra virgin all coconut oil. Antiviral, antimicrobial, antibacterial. You know, I know, I know it like a lot of people like to joke about it and say it's nothing special, but I mean, it has a fat in it called lauric acid that um, is very, very powerful. This is very, this is a great fat, red palm oil. Really? Why is that? Um, one of the reasons why I, I like red palm oil is because. It can slow down LDL oxidation. So, you know, you, people like assume LDL is a bad thing, of like a bad cholesterol, they call it. It's a lipoprotein, it's not cholesterol. But anyways, it's bad when it oxidizes. And so what do you, you put red palm oil on? What I used to do is put a uh, serving, like a tablespoon on eggs. Like yeah. if I made like three eggs, I'd put a tablespoon of red palm oil on so it. I used to be really big on this. I used to talk about it like seven, eight years ago, a lot. Or if you get on PubMed and yeah. you type in LDL oxidation, red palm oil, you'll see some cool studies. Nice. Yeah, really good fat. Which I like to rub that in my armpits and then walk around and yeah. slap my arms <laughs> like a the bird. women off of you? Yeah, yeah we'll get you some. <laughs> <laughs> Walnut oil. Yeah. A lot of different kinds of food is I like low sugar ketchup, like egg whites in particular. Egg whites and low sugar ketchup, really, really good. Um, 
Let me see if they have. They got it here somewhere. But uh, we that's a it. great condiment. Low sugar ketchup. Like Low sugar ketchup? Is a great condiment. And I like hot sauces that are cayenne pepper based. Like the buffalo sauces. This one. That's good. So what would be yeah. a bad first ingredient? Vinegar? Oh, okay, high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I love buffalo wing sauce. Actually, there's a, a there's a supplement called Capsimax that's in my fat burner that is a cayenne pepper extract, and it's uh, really good for your metabolism. I mean, you can feel your body heating up when you have cayenne peppers, obviously. And you know, what do some of the chemicals do? They elevate your body temperature, right? You burn more calories when your body temperature is higher. It's no, the coconut aminos. I've never seen this before in my life. You never seen coconut aminos? It's no. a teri it's a it's like a teriyaki sauce replacement. It's Organic like coconut tree sap. It tastes good, man. Wow. Well, it's very very low calorie. You don't want the soy from uh, soy sauce. It's low calorie. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, as a condiment, if something's low calorie, yeah. You know, I mean, I'll pretty much eat any condiment that's low calorie. Come back here. I eat that every day. Can of sardines? I eat like two sardines for breakfast great. and two I mean, for dinner. You get your essential fatty acids. <laughs> you get your, you know, your omegas. Um, what about mercury? Mercury, you know, you could normally like something like uh, sword, like the bigger fish that consume smaller fish are the ones that have the highest mercury levels. You can get it from, you know, a lot, a lot of people get mercury poisoning uh, from tuna, mm -hmm. tons of tuna. Yeah, yeah. Um, but some of this tuna, uh, if you remember video number two Antoine and I did, they fish this a little differently. Uh, they catch these tuna when they're smaller, so there's not as much mercury in them. So these wild planet ones are pretty popular. They're right. the Tonga tuna. They're, yeah, that's a good one. It's just they had a sale at uh, Sprouts where it was like uh, two for $3. That's not bad. For... No, I, I bought them all and I built a tower of them that went to the ceiling and then it fell. It's a full cot, right? So, yeah. Yeah. So it's the uh, low mercury tuna. Yeah. Clarified mm. butter. Yeah, it's a great to cook in. It holds up well under heat. Mm hmm It's great to cook Super in. Super tasty. Clarified butter. Yeah. Cook your eggs in it. Yeah, yeah, cook your eggs will be super dank. It's like cooking in pork fat. <laughs> but the butter version of... You still right. eat bread? Yeah. Yeah? I'm not like a big anti-bread guy. If you feel, I mean, like if you uh, feel good, you don't have any problems, yeah. eat it. If you feel bloated and you have a problem, then don't eat it. You think most people are paranoid because they think they have celiac? I think most people are really, really paranoid, yeah. They read something on the internet and they think their stomach's gonna explode from eating a couple slices of bread. Still wanna eat bread, I tell them to get sprouted grain bread. Sprouted grain. Yeah. Why is that usually probably better? Oh yeah, yeah, there's still some, and it's still not totally gluten-free. Yeah. But in much, much lower levels of gluten. If you bake with this, it turns whatever you bake green. Really? Yeah, because it's got, it's got a mean. high amount of, I think it's chlorogenic acid. I'm not sure which one it is. But then when it heats up and you use it as a cooking, like something in a recipe, you'll get your cookies out and they're all green, like leprechaun green. Like, so it turns like, where's Antoine? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have to do biceps again. Yeah. You tear your biceps to not do biceps tomorrow. Yeah, we'll tear our biceps. We don't have to do biceps again tomorrow. Oh uh, yeah. We'll get John. Uh -huh. You just started working out this weekend, right, Antoine? How long have you been working out? Oh, I just started last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I actually don't work out. I'm just on steroids. That's yeah, what they do. I just take a lot of steroids and sit yeah. on the couch and every now and again I'll do a video for YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> that will yeah. not work. Yeah, I don't work that out. not do it, dude. He no, just it's takes steroid control, boys and Yeah, guys. it's the wrong guy. Oh, really? Oh, God. That's why it's so sensitive here. Like this <laughs> one here, like, ah! All his size came from birth control. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, you're not oh, so pregnant. you're saying get no. pregnant to grow your chest. You have more complex carbs like this one here. Oh, the marshmallows. Yeah. So, those ones, they digest longer because they're bigger. Okay. Those ones are smaller, so they digest faster. So, you should eat those like in, with your whole meals and around the workout, you eat those ones. So, if you eat those here, if you eat one of those, it's gonna take longer than if you the eat the bigger like, ones. If you eat one of the bigger ones, yeah, it's gonna take yeah. longer. Makes sense. Okay, yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Makes sense. 
makes total sense. Makes I can't believe sense. I've never thought yeah. of marshmallows like this. Have you always Cookie. done mush marshmallows? Has it uh, contributed to how big you are? It's like the only reason, or? Gorilla Munch. That's good stuff. Choco Chimps. I don't know, man. I'm I just love the names puffs. of them. Polar Puffs. That's a good name Cost for a product. That's cool. Polar Puffs. Jeez, the Polar Puffs. That just puffs. rolls off the tongue nicely. Polar Puffs. Polar Puffs. So we call it like a, like a Polar Puff. Polar Puffs. Polar Puffs. Yeah. Polar Puffs. Weight gainer. Polar Puffs. Apparently you can't have sugary cereal it's a free without polar alliteration. Polar Puffs. You get puffy. You get puffy from yeah. Polar Puffs. <laughs> I can't even do a last spread. I just want to say it again. Puffs. Polar Puffs. Polar Puffs. Can we buy Polar Puffs? Yeah, we can. Seriously, let's do it. We have some Polar Puffs? Yeah. All right. It's one item we're gonna buy out of this whole video is yeah. fucking Polar Puffs. Polar Puffs. Polar Puffs. This is the one item I'm gonna buy out of this video. Yeah, but let's buy milk to it. You wanna buy milk to go to Polar Puffs? Well, you have to buy non-dairy milk, right? Yeah. Or just drink it with heavy cream. Oh, we'll do it. <laughs> we don't need much of it, right? I mean, you're gonna want it wetted. I don't want cream with it. <laughs> no, dude. I don't. Do it, please. Come on, please. Come on. We'll I do it. We'll do it. What if we get normal milk? With this is the good kind. No, no. Just this much for this much? No, no. It'll be yeah. It doesn't make any sense. No, it's good. It'll more be good. Heavy cream. You like you sense. like heavy whipping cream? Oh, that's old school. That's in. Uh, we used to add that to all of our protein shakes for caloric density in the off season. I do like polar puffs. What? <laughs> <laughs> I do like those. What? <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay. They got goat milk. Goat milk. So goat milk. People who can't tolerate. Normal cow milk can a lot of times tolerate goat milk because the fat particles are so much smaller. It's just the lactose mainly and maybe the way it was processed. I always wonder ultra pasteurized, so... Is this ultra? Yeah, I mean, so it can be... Too. That's always like, you don't... I don't know if it, you know, it used to be there was like, they did it real quick. They yeah. called it flash pasteurization and then they did it at a higher temperature for a shorter period of time. They're trying to preserve the nutrients. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They add them back in. So like, this is okay still? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Even ultra pasteurized? I mean, ideally, I, I personally like raw milk, but it's just it's so hard, hard to find the source. It's just so yeah. hard to get. I gave up on that. Yeah, I had a you gotta be on the black quit. market. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it's easier to get other things than raw milk. And Tom, what do you have in your hand? Are we getting that? Yeah. What is it? It's cold blue coffee with almond milk. I'll pay it. Okay. I'm sure it's cool. All right. What? I mean, sure. It took them a while to kick us out of the store, but they finally kicked us out of Whole Foods for making an educational video. How do you feel? <laughs> you feel like a man? Oh man, my dreams are crushed. They're smashed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home and curl up in a ball and uh, wait for Christmas to be happy again.